The UK is the second biggest net importer of forest products globally. Overall, we import about 80-81% of our timber, which makes us the second largest net importer of timber in the world after China, which is quite a staggering figure. So being highly reliant on imported material, we're very exposed in the global market. There is a potential shortfall in the supply of timber. The demand for timber across the globe is set to quadruple by 2050. So when we look at construction timber specifically, it's, it's the biggest market when it comes to sawn softwood. We're most import dependent within that specific area. So there's a big challenge there for the UK. How do we want to use more timber? Where's it going to come from? The collaboration of these three sawmilling companies coming together shows the importance as an industry that we tackle this problem. Forestry provides the key solution for both climate change and providing wood for the much needed house building industry. So the opportunity is phenomenal. If we're able to harvest forests locally, saw them locally and then use them in a local market, we shorten those supply chains. So we actually reduce the carbon footprint of the products that we're using. We can grow trees in the UK twice as fast as Scandinavia, so we have an inherent advantage and it's something we should be capitalising on. We've got a very well-invested forest product sector within the UK. We've got some world-class manufacturing facilities when it comes to timber processing, and we've got the opportunity to grow this. So what we're really needing to do is look at the productive tree species that we're planting in the UK, increase forest cover, and then really focus on the products that we can produce within the UK sawmills for UK purposes. Timber is a fantastic material when it comes to its environmental credentials. Trees sequester carbon as they grow. It's stored in the finished product that's then used in a building and it's also a substitute for a product such as steel, bricks, blocks, concrete, which may be more highly emitting when it comes to carbon. The C16 is the strength class that we grade timber to within the UK. The strength capabilities of C16 are more than fit for purpose. There's no reason C16 can't be used in uh, nearly all timber applications of construction. Over-specification is not only uh, procuring the UK industry, but it's costing the building industry money as any over-specification does. The standard specification of C24, it's almost a default position, just because C24 covers all the bases, but C16 can do the job just as well. So there should be very little difficulty in switching from C24 to C16 for the vast majority of general house building and home improvements. We just need to change the myths around C24 and uh, ultimately specifying C24 precludes the use of homegrown and is holding the industry back. But we have to get the specification right to allow the UK industry to be able to supply that and all the environmental benefits that goes with and then as well as the environmental benefits, there's obviously the UK economy, the rural jobs. So I think this campaign is really important to enable us to increase um, our market share of UK grown timber into that sector. Also in terms of the use of fibre in the UK, this allows us to use UK fibre, locking up carbon into the longest term use of that fibre. So it's a very good message environmentally as well. I'm proud to play a part in changing the construction industry. We have an opportunity here to make changes that will have profound and lasting effect on the country and the industry that we are in.